One of my favorite additions to my camera collection this year has been my Minolta CLE. Now, the average film shooter might not know about this camera, but if you told them that this was technically a Leica, just not with the Leica branding, you're probably going to raise some eyebrows. And that's not really an overstatement either because the two camera companies, Leica and Minolta, they signed an agreement in 1970 to partner and uh, share design concepts and camera components and work together to make camera gear. Essentially meant that Leica could make things for Minolta and Minolta would make things for Leica. Together, the two companies in 1973 developed the Leica CL, which was sort of like a Leica M camera, but was much more lighter and a lot more affordable. That camera ended up being a huge sales success and sort of uh, steered people away from the Leica M bodies. And I guess that sort of scared Leica because just a few years after uh, the camera came out, they discontinued production and discontinued their partnership with Minolta. And so in 1980, uh, Minolta was just like, okay, we'll make our own Leica ML camera with all the tech and design concepts that we learned from our partnership with Leica. And that's how this camera came to be, the Minolta CLE. The CLE standing for Compact Leica Electronic. I first thought about calling this the poor man's Leica just because, you know, it's a lot cheaper and is technically a Leica but not really a Leica. Uh, but that sort of gives this camera a negative connotation, suggesting that, you know, this is inferior to any Leica camera when really that's not the case. It's better. In all seriousness though, this camera was actually considered the most technically advanced Leica electronic camera for 21 years until the Leica M7 was released. But this won't be a comparison video between this camera and Leica's because honestly, I have no experience with shooting Leica cameras because I can't afford it. I'll be going over its main features, what I like about the camera and what I don't like about the camera and just my overall experience shooting with it. So I'd actually say the biggest feature of the Minolta CLE is its automatic exposure mode, which is actually the feature that made this camera so technically advanced at the time because no other Leica M mount camera had a automatic exposure mode until 21 years later when the Leica M7 came out. It's marked as an A on the shutter speed dial and it's technically an aperture priority mode. So after setting your film speed on the camera, all you really have to do shooting in automatic mode is adjust your f-stop according to the available light you have. And that really simplifies this camera uh, so much and makes it very user-friendly to anyone who's new to shooting film or on a rangefinder camera. While in automatic mode, it'll bring up a light meter that you'll see through the viewfinder and it'll tell you what your shutter speed is. This is so nice to have on a camera because it's really hard to come away with a bad exposure while in this mode. I'm usually shooting in this mode with this camera if I'm not uh, running around doing really quick reaction run and gun street photography. Uh, if I'm doing that, uh, I prefer to have control over my shutter speed because, you know, I want to make sure that I'm not getting blurry images, you know, moving my camera really fast. So I want to have a fast shutter speed and know that I'm shooting at a fast shutter speed for that. Another thing to note though about shooting in manual is that you actually end up losing the light meter that you would normally get when in automatic mode. It's an unfortunate downside, but you could technically just switch back to automatic mode to get your reading with the light meter and then switch out of it back into manual mode if you really wanted to. Film is loaded through the back door here, and you actually turn on the camera uh, with this tab and bringing it down to the on mode. 
You also get a self timer here as well. This camera is extremely light and while it's not technically a feature, I think it's one of the biggest aspects of this camera that makes it so great to shoot with, especially for, you know, everyday documentary style street photography work. Yeah, it's going to be lighter because it's using a cheaper quality material, you know, if you're comparing to a Leica camera, but if you're gentle with this camera, it will be gentle to you. There's essentially no grip on this camera, as you can see in the front here, but with a camera this light, it doesn't really matter as much. Something that does bother me though, in terms of ergonomics is the placement of the shutter button. It's, you know, usually on uh, rangefinder cameras, you see the shutter button on top of the film advance lever or in its own separate uh, area closer to the edge of the camera. On this camera, it's placed in an awkward position. It's above the shutter speed dial. You know, if you have smaller hands, this might make it a little uncomfortable to hold with one hand. For me, I can just barely get my index finger to reach the shutter button. So unfortunately for me, I have to have another hand to balance the camera if I'm gonna shoot with this. Um, so I can't really shoot with this camera as a you know one hand operation. Other than that, this camera is still really good for street photography um, just because of how compact and lightweight this camera is. Uh, with the 40 millimeter uh, lens on here, I can easily slip this into and out of any jacket pocket. Speaking of lenses, this camera has three specifically designed lenses for this camera. A 28 millimeter, a 40 millimeter, and a 90 millimeter. I own two of them, the 28 and 40 millimeter. These are said to be some of the best Leica M mount lenses for the price. When these lenses are attached to the camera, they bring up their respective frame lines in the viewfinder, or at least it's supposed to. When I use my 40 millimeter, it still has the 28 millimeter frame lines. I don't know why that's the case, but if any of you know, uh, let me know in the comments. Regardless, both of these lenses have an amazing image quality, and some who have shot with these lenses go as far as to say they're the best lenses they've ever shot with. I can't really say for sure how good these lenses are because I'm just not that really into pixel peeping or anything like that, but from my own experience, if I nail the focus for once, the images come out really sharp. Here's some taken with the 28 millimeter. some photos I've taken with the 40 millimeter. And since this is a Leica M mount camera, you can actually use any other Leica M mount lenses on this camera. But I mean, these are so much cheaper and just so good that I don't really see why you would want to do that unless you already had Leica lenses, but that's just me. The 28 millimeter was the first lens I got for this camera, so I've mostly been shooting with that. But recently I got the 40 millimeter, so I've been trying to shoot with that one more. Um, I do like how it's a little bit more compact than the 28 millimeter too. It is just too bad that I don't get the frame lines for the 40 millimeter for whatever reason. Um, it might be a mechanical issue with the camera though, which sort of segues me into one of the cons of the Minolta CLE. People who repair the Minolta CLE are an endangered species. I've read that there's only just a few people in Japan that still service this camera and just a few in uh, the US that service the Minolta CLE. And that's mostly because this camera is electronic, not you know fully man mechanical like Leica cameras are. And also the fact that, you know, not a lot of people have this camera, so parts are really hard to come by. And since this is electronic, I do need to always have spare batteries with me every time I go shoot, because once the batteries are done with this camera, uh, I can't use the camera at all. But I'm used to always carrying spare batteries, so it's not much of a big deal for me. All in all though, this camera has been a blast to shoot with this year. 
Um, I said in the beginning, this was one of my favorite additions to my camera collection. And you know, I've been looking for a rangefinder film camera to partner up with my digital X100V. So I wanted to have a film counterpart for that camera. And I think this camera just partners up really well with my Fujifilm X100V. You can see here, they, they both are practically the same size. When it comes to image quality, portability, and maybe most important of all, value for the money, the Minolta CLE just hits on all of those. Talk to anyone who has shot with this camera or has had one of these before, and they'll tell you how much they love this camera. All right, that pretty much wraps up my thoughts about the Minolta CLE. As you can tell, I really enjoy this camera. Let me know in the comments if you have this camera or had one before. Share your experience in the comments. Um, I'm pretty interested to hear what you guys say. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.